It's really an offshoot of a book we did a couple of years ago called The Best of Life, uh, which, which itself was an offshoot of Life's suspending publication in 1972. Uh, we were laying out the best of life, and we discovered we were throwing away too many great pictures. So we decided to resurrect them and put them into a, into a single book on the movies. And I think it was a singularly good idea, because I think there are more movie buffs in this country today than there are almost anything else. Has there ever been a book put together in, in such a fashion? Uh, not, that I, not that I know of. Of course, it's not a conscientious history of the movies. It's, a, it's really a history of exactly what it sets out to be. It's a history of life's love affair with the movies, and it's a 36-year love affair. Life started in, 19, started in 1936 and folded in 1972, mm -hmm. and we had this kind of um, symbiotic relation with the, with the movies. What it really is is a love affair between a, a great magazine and a great industry mm -hmm. with all the ups and downs of a love affair. Uh, we fought and we made up, and it's got a happy ending, and it's got a sad ending like any good love story does. Uh, the happy ending is that the movies are bigger, in quotes, than ever, and the sad ending is that life is suspended publication. Uh -huh. <coughs> but as I say, it was a 36-year relationship. They had what we wanted, and we had what they wanted. They had, they had the glamour that we needed to, uh, to put out in a time in a very rough, war-ridden war period when we were printing a whole lot of very gruesome tough pictures, and we wanted to alleviate this hardness and harshness uh, with some glamour and with some pretty girls, and Hollywood had that. Uh, and, of course, we had publicity for their, for their movies.